Thank you so much for having us. Uh, looking forward to presenting Raise. I'm going to jump right in. Uh, you know, raising capital is not only hard, but it's chaotic. And we, um, we've we experienced that firsthand. Uh, our team, uh, a group of people that have raised capital uh, ourselves and individual companies, and here's the things that 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 actually I know personally from experience is that the time to close is typically hard, complicated rules and compliance requirements around raising capital, uh, document exchange process, uh, access to data rooms. Uh, usually you, you only have one option of using fiat only. There's no real actual digital currency or crypto options to invest in companies with typically. Um most founders believe that they can only raise on equity. Uh, and then the biggest thing is lack of access to investors. So, um, you know, my name is Brian Anderson. I'm the founder and CEO of Raise. And uh, I get up every day focused on these problems for our clients and focused on building uh, one of the most powerful platforms, I believe, in the world with, with, uh, with an incredible team. Uh, and we'll get into that in a few minutes. So the solution is Raise. We are a private plot, private private fundraising platform for startups and investors. And we do believe that we check all the boxes to help founders and companies raise capital in a compliant way. Uh, we offer companies the ability to get their own company pitch page. Um, we give them the option to be able to accept both fiat and crypto uh, for investors from investors all within the platform. It is com compliant in the US. Uh, we offer multiple different types of ways to raise capital. In fact, the technology is built to where it's really not limited on uh, what kind of investment document you're going to use. Uh, we really can pretty much facilitate anything as long as it's compliant and legal written up by a lawyer. Um, we have a powerful document signing process built in, similar to like a DocuSign process inside the platform. We're currently building an investor community uh, right now uh, that uh, we just started working on here in the first uh, month of this year, uh, which is going to provide the other side of the coin uh, that most uh, companies raising capital are really interested in, and that's getting access to investors. Uh, we offer data rooms, and then here's a biggie. We, we automatically, by default, uh, ensure that every investor coming into the platform for a founder raising capital uh, ensures that they have the option to do an accreditation check and a KYC check for those investors, if that's required, uh, which is one of the reasons why this is a compliant uh, platform. One of the things that I wanted to do was just jump right into uh, showing you guys actually what this looks like. Like, what what is what does Raise look like? Like, how how is this different from other platforms? First, to be very clear, we are not a crowdfunding site. We are actually one of the first companies in the world that went after the private placement market. In the US, that's commonly known as Reg D exemptions, where you're raising capital in that way. So we're actually building a crowdfunding-like experience, but for private placement offerings for uh, seed and pre-seed type of rounds. That's where we're really niche focused. We can take this a lot of different directions. We can grow it. But right now we're very focused on helping companies raise capital, giving them a great tool in that pre-seed and seed round. I'm going to jump into uh, an example of one of our clients, actually, that just went live recently, uh, Athlogic. Just for demo purposes, I want to I want to show what this kind of looks like. So this is a private pitch page. It cannot be sent to non-accredited investors, but a lot of founders don't know whether or not that investor is accredited. So the first thing we do is make sure it's password protected. Uh, and so they can't go post this on social media unless they're doing a specific type of raise. Typically, it's only to... Uh, a small group of investors or people they know. Uh, Jackie's got all of his information up here as the founder. Uh, he, he can list all this stuff. This page is completely customizable. He can put videos in here. Uh, really, this is his storytelling on his company and on his raise. Um, and then also steps on how he invests. Uh, after the investment's completed, uh, he facilitates this with our platform, but he uh, is allowed to drop an NFT in an investor's wallet if they want to come claim one. It's optional. It's it's something that they get, but it's a proof of investment. And um, that's just an additional thing, a part of uh, that's a part of our platform. Um, once an investor has done their due diligence, how do they do their due diligence? 
Uh, how are they going to do their due diligence on Athlogic and Jackie? Well, they can not only look at this page, but they can go access the common things that most investors are going to want, uh, such as a data room. Um, so we we help the clients ensure that they've got all this built out because we know what investors are looking for. Um, Pitch Deck links websites, they could have six other links here, white papers, whatever it is that's all customizable. Um, so that's that's how an investor is typically going to see this offer for the first time if they haven't already seen the pitch deck yet from the founder. Um, let's fast forward and assume that this investor is ready to invest. They've done their due diligence and they want to move forward. Um, you'll notice that right out of the gate, uh, we are a little bit different than most platforms because we not only facilitate a wire transfer or help them facilitate that in a traditional way, but we also accept crypto. So if the investor proceeds, at this point, we have to assume for time's sake, they've already done their KYC. So they've done their quick KYC. They've approved that they're an accredited investor. They're now reviewing Jackie's safe agreement um, and the doc document here that's listed. And this is a standard, I think, Y Combinator safe that he put together, uh, approved by his lawyer. Check the box, proceed, digitally sign. And then at that point, Literally, I'm this step, I'm one step close to settling this private placement transaction. I get to choose whether I want to pay with crypto, which means, of course, I've got to connect my wallet. If I don't want to pay with crypto, I don't even have to connect a wallet. That's that's an optional thing. Uh, if I want to do wiring instructions, I just take Jackie's bank information that's provided and I wire the money directly to him. You'll notice that we never take custody of funds. We're not a money transmitter. So we sit in a very safe zone on this. Okay, If they decide to use crypto, our smart contracts, of course, facilitates that mint transfer the tokens over and the transaction is finished. We also provide a powerful investor database to founders like uh, Jackie um, that give um, the ability to go and actually search for, right now we've got about uh, 60, uh, 6,600 investors in um, the actual CRM and they can literally go through there and start searching and viewing um, every one of those investors. Um, so that's just a really, really quick look. Um, we are built on the blockchain. We have a centralized and decentralized component of this. Um, we actually use a non-fungible token to do an investment identity verification so that when they come back in as a post-investment, uh, we know exactly who they are. There's a token uh, tokenization or token gating process to verify all this. We don't typically lead with the whole blockchain and Web3 kind of requirement because most companies raising capital don't really care. They just want to raise money. Um, but it is actually an important differentiation that we want to make sure we call out and show. Um, so, you know, back to back to this, a lot of people ask us like, well, how do you make money? Like, where, what are your fees? So we charge a SaaS fee. It's only a thousand bucks to get on the platform. They have to join as a member. That's that completes their onboarding, which typically that alone is well worth more than a thousand dollars because we ensure they're compliantly set up. Once they go live, they built their page. They don't pay another dollar until they start raising money. And then we collect the rest of our SaaS fees on that. And then um, we do charge an optional fee on crypto transfers. So if the investor is not using crypto, there's no fee. Uh, if there's wire transfers outside of our system, zero fees. Uh, but if they do use our smart contract, we small we charge a small percentage uh, for that transfer as an additional revenue stream for our company. Um, and then lastly, um, we're building out investor community. And in the future, based on our current projection or performa, we plan to actually have a membership um, for premium investors to be able to get deal flow and access. Uh, not every VC is going to care about deal flow in this market right now, but in the future they may. But I can tell you family offices and accredited investors are very interested in getting deals like this, especially when they know they're safe, they've been onboarded properly, and they can immediately invest. Um, we believe that we have a really incredible team. I know we do, but what makes it a little bit unique in the size of the team is that we've got a core team on the left, which is like our team members building every day and pretty much everybody on that list except for um, two are, are like full time on raise. Um, so this like our core team building everything, including our CTO, Roman, um, our, our chief product officer, GP. 
um, Tim's in sales. Kyle and I um, are on you know strategy and building the whole company out. Andrew on onboarding. But on the right, we've got this really incredible group of other people that are advisors that are doing giving sweat equity, giving time, and of course they've been given uh, you know rewards and different types of future things to be able to compensate them properly. But we have a great team, and they're all very committed, which is what's pretty exciting about this. Um, what have we accomplished so far? The traction has been pretty incredible. Uh, we didn't launch our MVP until June of last year. We did a soft launch at Consensus in Austin, Texas. We did our pre-seed round in about six or eight weeks using our platform in the middle of all the chaos going on uh, that was happening last June in the crypto space. We still did our pre-seed round and we used our platform, which was pretty powerful. We established the team. We went live with our full production product. Uh, we launched our seed round, which I'll talk about in a minute. We started onboarding our first clients. We now have 12 clients under contract. One of those clients has already completed a, uh, their pre-seed round on the platform. So they've actually come down on the, off the platform now. Um, we've got revenue booked. And then we just today actually announced this. It was great timing for this uh, to talk about. But we just launched um, and did a, a whole press release with UCLA Anderson Venture Accelerator Group. And basically, they've chosen our product uh, to be able to offer to their startups in the future uh, to start using um, as they they grow this accelerator group. So that's a pretty cool partnership. And we're working on a lot of partnerships like that, including with family offices. Uh, as I wrap up here, um, we're looking to complete our round for $1 million. Um, we uh, have already made some decent headway on that. This is our seed round. Uh, we need to invest in our product heavily. We need to invest in our legal and compliance because we're in a highly regulated space. We need to continue to invest in that and beyond what we've invested. Um, we also would like to make some strategic investments into expand our reach and our return for our investors down the road, such as entering other markets. We could absolutely dominate the crowdfunding market if we wanted to with this type of technology. We're not there yet. We don't want to be there yet. We want to really focus on what we're good at right now. But we've got a lot of really good things we want to uh, grow with, including uh, giving ourselves more runway. We're raising on a safe uh, to for accredited investors only. Uh, we're looking to complete this. We've got 27.5% uh, committed already. Minimum investments, 25000 on a $10 million valuation cap. Here's what's really cool about our offer is that if you scan that QR code as an accredited investor, you can go straight to our page, put in the password, and literally do what I just showed you. So we we use our own platform to raise. Uh, we have to because that's that's what we do. Um, so we're we're looking for the right strategic partners. We're in the business of investors and we're in the business of startups. And so we're looking for the right partners that want to kind of align their investment strategies with that. Um, and uh, we believe we have something very special. Despite all the news and all the things going on in the Web3 space, we're heads down focused on, on building a real product with real utility. Uh, and so we're excited. Um, so as we wrap up here, um, you know, our what I'm most excited about is watching all the startups, all the small businesses and everybody to be able to come on board and reach their fundraising goals to be able to act actually expand their company using our product and our software. Um, a lot of people ask me, um, where do you guys see this going? Um, I see our platform and our vision as being one of the world's best fundraising brands, not just in the current niche that we sit in, but in a lot of different places. And as blockchain begins to expand and as we get back on track with Web3, we believe there's a world for fractionalization of assets using this minting platform. We believe that there's incredible opportunity to be able to go way beyond what we've already done. But let's just focus on the $1.6 trillion private placement market. I could sit in that all day and we could build a huge company just serving those businesses. So excited and thank you for the time.